This episode of Approach the Bar with Dance Beat is sponsored by the DBDC, a legendary celebration. Welcome to Approach the Bar with Dance Beat. In this episode, we are going to discuss the pro rising star at Manhattan Dance Board Championships. And with me today, I am very happy to have Miss Lorinda McRaven. And Lorinda was a former North American uh, pro smooth champion and also a US Open pro smooth final. Hello, Lorinda. Hi, Chris. <laughs> now, before we start, as this is so serious, there's something I have to ask you to do. Can you put your hand on the Dance Beat logo? And do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. That was my left hand, so. Ah! Oh, and not to be too terribly picky, but it is the Manhattan Dance Championships, not Manhattan Dance Sport Championships. Just keeping it real here. Uh, yeah. Into sixth place last night, we had Slawak and Denise. Can you give me your opinion on what you thought? How, how did they dance? I like them as a couple. I think they're very full and dynamic. Um, one of the things that at this point that I think I notice over and over that stops me from pushing them up a spot or two is like when they share energy back and forth, the transfer of energy doesn't go through cleanly. And so you get that kind of bumper car effect. Mm -hmm. You know, we all experience that in closed position. It happens even in open position. And so that's one of the things that I notice about them beyond the fact that they're just beautiful and they're gonna be a great couple. I just give them time. Into fifth place, we had Morton and Ashley and they're actually finished five, four, five, five. What do you think? Yeah, I think tango was a strong dance for them, um, and they deserved that. Uh, when I watch, Morton's very experienced. He's a delightful dancer. I find the choreography sometimes to be a little flat and linear. Um, you know, and the trend has been for a while, very round and very full. And so I see um, just a lot of linear actions from them. Closed positions, delightful from Morton. He's very, you know, easy to watch in closed position. Yeah. But good result to make this final last night. Yeah, and to also bump up a dance. Yeah. In the fourth place, we had Radek and Mila, and they actually finished 3-5-4-3. Three, three. Your thoughts? I think that's pretty accurate of everybody's confusion. All the judges, you know, sixth and fifth were fairly well seated, and then the real competition came between four and three, and for me, actually, even two. Those were very easy, I mean, angst-filled, mm -hmm. but but mobile marks for me. Um, I've always enjoyed Roddick's dancing. Um, I've always enjoyed her um, emotion. She's very intense. She's very committed to what she's doing. Uh, and he's, I just think he's a lovely dancer. In the third place last night, we had Daniel and Yulia, and they finished 4-3-3-2. Three, three, so, I know this young lady from before because she was dancing Pro-Am Smooth with her father. Um, and once again, it's, it's she definitely doesn't look like a Pro-Am dancer anymore. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have expected that. And people were saying something about someone dancing with their dad and I didn't recognize her and I didn't know that about her. It would never have occurred to me to consider her a Pro-Am girl. She definitely stepped up into a pro role really easy. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you feel about this couple last night? I, I liked them a lot. Um, from the very first round, they caught my eye. I noticed the fullness of their movement, the ease of their connections. Um, their choreography was rather dynamic, um, just very eye-catching, uh, you know, and you can't quite put your finger on it. The first couple times you see somebody, you just know you're drawn to watching them, and I, I was. Okay, so once again, good result for this couple, um, because it is a pretty fairly new partnership as well. Okay, that was third. So coming all the way from Texas and finishing second last night, we had Enzo and Stephanie, and they've actually finished two, 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 four. Lorinda. So yeah, second place is a great, I think it's um, a, a understandable result for them. They're kind of clearly in that second place spot going into USDC this fall. Um, 
I, I enjoy Enzo's performance. He's a you know happy guy. He's transitioned into smooth very well um, for someone that's relatively new to the country and to the style. Um, Stephanie, for me, and this is where I tend to pull back from their performance a bit, has a very uh, perfunctory performance. She's out there to achieve a result, and and this is what she's there to do. And as a judge or even as a spectator, I don't want to see how hard you're working for the result. I want to be entertained. I want to know that you enjoy it. And so when I see her get a little um, oriented on achieving rather than performing, I start to look at other couples that maybe are a little more entertaining or a little less um, specific in their performance and just uh, sharing more joy with the competitor, the other competitors, the spectators and judges. Yeah. Um, what amazes me is how much pro-am this guy dances and then gets out there and dances pro and it doesn't seem to affect him at all. So Enzo, well done mate, well done. And winning this event, uh, we have, I think, the golden couple of rising star smooth dancing at the moment, Slava and Valeria. So, what did you feel? I, pretty much every time I see them, I'm comfortable just saying they're easy winners. Uh, you know, I look at them, I'm entertained, it's classy and it's showy and it's elegant and it's powerful and it's beautiful. Like, it has all the right pieces to them. Um, and you know, there's someone that also does another style, so they put in a little extra work, and that that definitely pays off in their smooth that they get into a very nice, comfortable, clean, standard hold. Um, you know, I think that second style suits them, uh, and definitely enhances their smooth. Uh -huh. So normally, I only see this gorgeous young woman, but I was very much aware of Slava. He was chilled. There were a few times where he got a bumped a little bit and he just turned around and laughed at the person that, that bumped him. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but during the presentation, he started dancing. Yeah. You know, that, that, was, that was so cool and not my normal... Expectation of him. Yeah, yeah, not at all. So Slava, well done, mate. So Lorinda, thank you so much for taking the time to come and talk to Dance Beat. Okay, And guys, remember, whatever you want to know about what's going on at the major events in this country, please log on to dancebeat.com. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Mwah. Mwah. Cheers. Cheers. This episode of Approach the Bar with Dance Beat is sponsored by the DBDC, a legendary celebration.